Hey guys, it's me, Plush and Stuff, and uh, let's just get right into it and not waste any time. Candy Freddy plushie, review time! Whoa! Yeah, so here's the Candy Freddy plushie. Um, I was gonna review him a few days ago when I first got him, but I got kind of sick and stuff and my voice sounded awful. Sorry about that, but we are here now and my voice sounds better. So we're gonna review him. Also don't mind the cut on my hand. Um, I like cut myself with like a notebook, but it'll heal in a few days. Don't worry, it's okay. Um, so yeah, before we actually start reviewing it, there are a couple of things I wanna say. First of all, this guy's a Funko exclusive, meaning you can only find him at Funko headquarters, which is like in Washington, I think. The Funko store, um, you know, like in malls and stuff, there's Funko stores or Funko.com, which is where I got him. I uh, ordered him off of there. Um, I would recommend ordering him off of Funko.com because it's the easiest way to get him and it doesn't take a bajillion years to arrive. Also, another weird detail I noticed uh, is that it says 2021. Uh, and it says this for all the Candy Freddy plushies, which again, weird. I don't know what's up with that, but it's not a huge deal. I mean, I don't really care. It's just a tag. And one more weird thing is that this plushie is called the Candy Freddy plushie on the Funko website, but the action figure is actually called Chocolate Freddy. So I guess they changed the name, which personally I think suits him better because he's not really chocolate. He's kind of like, he's kind of like dipped in chocolate, I guess, but like, you know, he's not really chocolate. So I, I like Candy Freddy better. Um, yeah, it suits him very nicely. So starting off with the actual review, let's talk about the positives. Oh boy, there's a lot. Um, <laughs> the printing, first of all, looks great. Uh, it does not like show white at all. It's like really good printing. Like you can't, you can't even see the white. And they did this thing for the material. Um, I noticed that I think to make the printing look better, they use a different material on all the pieces of the body that are printed. Like for example, here it's like kind of furrier. And then over here it's more kind of flat. Um, I personally don't mind. I'm pretty sure they actually did this for the like Jacko plushies, um, like uh, Jacko Bonnie, Jacko Chica, and Grim Foxy in the Curse of Dreadbear wave. They like were covered in this. So the printing looked better and didn't look like the sister location plushies. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was a long section. But uh, second of all, let's start with the, um, you know, embroidery, uh, like with the eyes. So the eyes um, are Glamrock Freddy's eyes. I think, uh, cause they have the eyelids and the eyes or Rockstar Freddy's eyes, I don't know. They're just eyes, but you know, they have the pink eyelids, kind of like Glamrock Freddy's. I think he has like black ones or something. And you know, embroidered eyes, all the embroidery on the eyes is really nice. They did do that thing with the ring around the eyes, which I personally am not a fan of because they've been doing that for all their plushies and I don't understand why. I, I like them when they were all poofy and stuff, it was fun, but it's fine. You got the embroidered orange eyebrows. They look nice. Sorry guys, my air conditioner just turned on. It's kind of loud, sorry. Um, anyways, we have uh, the button here is also embroidered and he's actually supposed to have two, a blue and a pink one. But I understand why they didn't add that because you know, it's kind of not really any space and he still looks really nice. Just one button, it's okay. Uh, this isn't like a huge positive, but I just really personally like the blue gumdrop nose. It's just a normal Freddy nose, but I, I don't know. I just, I just like it. It just adds this charm to him. I don't know. I just really like it. Um, the bow tie looks really nice, but it's made of like Choco Bonnie's bow tie material, but like flat. So it feels kind of like, kind of like, I don't know, like papery almost a bit too flat, but it, it looks really nice and it doesn't like feel super bad. It, it's okay. Um, it's, it's not my favorite thing, but I, I think I think it's still pretty cool. Like, I, I give a positive because it looks nice. They also um, managed to add a ribbon around the hat on um, a small one, and they didn't like sew it in this time. They actually like put like an actual piece of like, I think felt maybe around the hat. So it like comes out a little bit, which I think I just personally liked it when it was sewn in more just cause it was, it was kind of cool, but I mean, this is more accurate, so I guess objectively that's better. So it's positive. And also they sewed it so like his uh, right ear is bitten off, like right here. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. And of course the soft material, it's still soft, you know, normal soft material, except for like, you know, the, the weird like 
material they use to print on. It's, it's a little less soft. You can kind of tell it's a different material, but I still think it blends really well and you don't really notice it that much, only after like holding it for like a while, I guess. I don't know. But I mean, basically what I'm saying is that it blends well with the rest of the plushie and it doesn't bother me too much. Also, I forgot to mention this, but the endo looks really nice. I don't really understand the blue thing on the side, but it's accurate to the figure. And as long as the plushie is accurate, then I mean, it's not Funko's fault, so yeah. And before we get to the negatives, can I just say how brilliant it was to make this a Funko exclusive? Not only is it the first one, which, you know, is kind of cool, gives some variety, but also this is actually a character from Funko because there was an action figure branded for special delivery. Um, it was Chocolate Freddy and Chocolate Chica, but they never actually went into FNAF AR, so these are basically Funko's own characters. So I think it's really cool how they're like, making them Funko exclusives. It, it, it just makes sense. All right, now onto the negatives. I mean, like, there's not supposed to be red sprinkles, I guess. Those th He doesn't have red sprinkles, but, like, does anybody really care? It blends with his design. It, if anything, I like them more with the red. It, it just adds some, adds some color that I like. And uh, this is just, like, a personal thing with my plushie. I don't know why, but for some reason, his right foot is, like, a lot lower than his left. Um, it should be like this. Like that. And it, it kind of fixes itself when it sits down, but like, you know, um, or they could both be down, but no, it's kind of, it's kind of weird. I don't know. That just bugs me. But yeah, this is just a problem with my plushie specifically. The other ones shouldn't be like that with the leg. You know, I've seen other ones. They look fine. I think it's just, I got a weird one, um, with the leg. But yeah, other than that, like personal thing, like with this specific plushie, I guess. I have like basically no complaints. <laughs> it's like, it's perfect. Except like the ring around the eyes. That's like the only thing I can come up with. Like really, I, I mean, if I, I, I think it could have done without them. But other than that, this is an awesome plushie. In fact, this is such an awesome plushie. I'm actually gonna be making him the mascot of the channel. And he's gonna be featured in a lot more videos. Probably gonna be featured in the next one. Stay tuned for that. I'm gonna change my profile picture. And everything because i love him so much yes this is a great plushie and i definitely recommend you get it before it's gone forever and you'll only be able to find it on like mercari for like 60 dollars, and you do not want that so just get him now um i kind of wish i bought two um i kind of regret that i didn't because then i would have been able to keep one and then sell the other but it's fine so yeah um my score on this guy is a 10 out of 10. He's perfect. And if you guys are wondering, where are the rest of the FNAF AR plushies? Why are you not reviewing them with this guy? What is wrong with you? Um, trust me, I have been looking at every single GameStop I've seen. I've been going at least like two times a week. And like, I've been to like five different GameStops and they don't have them it's probably because they haven't actually finished shipping like to here where i live yet but like um you know this guy has finally arrived so i assume that they're probably going to show up in uh game stops around my area soon so hopefully i'm able to get those because trust me guys i've been looking forever for those but yeah um when i do um find them then i probably won't review them but i'm gonna wait until the Walmart exclusives come out. I'm gonna buy those, the Shamrock Freddy and the Livewire Freddy. And then I'm gonna review all these guys together and a quick review of Chocolate Freddy, or Candy Freddy, again. Um, And I'm not gonna buy the inverted ones because that would be wasting my money. Those things look awful, I'm sorry. But anyways, yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you enjoyed this beautiful plushie, he's amazing. Um, and, uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, hopefully it's a, it's a Candy Freddy plushy video. But anyways, yeah, that's it for now, so goodbye.